hello all i hope everyone doing good so today in this video we are going to see how to create a scheduled trigger flow so it, it may be the easy one but i thought of i haven't created a video for this one so i thought of doing this so i am going to take this as a use case so i need a flow to send an email to a case owner on a daily basis when the case status is working uh, i spelled it wrong so the case status should be working so it has to um, send an email to the case owner like uh, it should be on a daily basis you can schedule it to um, send it something like somewhere around 12 o'clock in the midnight or anywhere uh, according to your requirement so we are going to do that so i i open my salesforce org i am on my flow builder page i'm going to hit the new flow button and once you see this pop up just choose schedule triggered flow select next so choose whatever you want i choose auto layout and set the schedule so we are going to test it now right so let me put today's date and the time would be around 7 20 pm since we are going to test it now let's see i'm editing it to 7 20 pm yeah you see all the timelines right so you can edit it and can yeah you can use according to your requirement so most of the time we use uh, we prefer to use the schedule trigger flow around the non business hours around late late midnight like 12 pm or uh, early in the morning around 3 am or 4 am so that it will not impact the performance of the application when it is running you know and you can choose the frequency here it has to be once or daily or weekly for my use case it has to be daily click done and okay this is configured and choose the object for us it should be case and my condition is the case status equals working that's it cool okay condition okay then we have to add action so we are going to trigger an email right so i have added a new action and i'm typing in email to fetch the relevant action and let's say just give a label name email body so in the body uh, you have to give your own template so we are not going to create any new email template to uh, attach in that um, uh, flow to trigger that email template so uh, i'm going to create a new lightning template on the fly here so just click on the body and click new resource and select text template in the body you have to give your own message that should be on the email so let's say hi and it has to be triggered to the owner right so let's get the owner's name uh, owner user So here it comes so owner and let's see let's case so let's add the case number as well here. I'm going to select case 
Ending status leaves one click. So that's my message here. Uh, that's it, right? So I have given my case number, the case owner name. Okay, that's fine. And select done. Okay, so body we have set it as an email template and the subject. Can add the subject? Let's say and in the email. So we have to trigger email to case owner. So let's include the email addresses and click on the enter value field and select case, select owner and then email. So it will fetch the email of the owner for that case record. So that's it for this. And from winter 22 version, you have to select this one as well, which text formatted body is it's true. So if you are not selecting this one, okay, we are exceeding our 720. I have to change it to 725. So what will happen is if if you are not adding this true condition, uh, we'll be getting email like um, with the HTML tags on it. It will come as a plain text. Even though you uh, selected as a rich text format, it will come as a plain text. So you have to select this option. And that's it. So we are done. I'm going to change the time here to 7.22 and see you. Uh, okay, cool. This is just a warning. Activate. Okay, in the meantime, let's check the case. Okay, so here we have two cases in working status. So it should trigger. Yeah, both are in my name. Cool. So it should trigger at 7.22. Let's wait. So I'm on my Gmail. So he did trigger the emails. We have four different emails. I think we have four different cases. Um, so we got four different email. And as we configured, the subject is there. And the case number is here. So everything looks fine. So uh, that's it. And the other thing I, I, I told you, right? So if you, if you, uh, if you're not turning on that rich text body uh, configuration, we would be receiving the email like this, you know? So it will have all the uh, HTML tags and it, it just comes as a plain text, even though if you have configured as a rich text. So that's what I was talking. So we have all, uh, like once we enable that configuration, it will just come as uh, without those tags. So that would be fine. And that's all for this video. So it's just pretty simple and straightforward flow. Just select the schedule trigger flow, give your uh, schedule time that uh, you, you wanted to run that flow and give your 
enter your object with the condition and select the action that you wanted to perform and that's it activate uh, yep let me know if you have any questions on this one i'll be happy to assist you in the comments thank you